everybody. Welcome to the Brony Show. I am your host for episode 198, Circuit Main. I also have joining with me Suki of the Otaku Ascended. Yo, and I totally thought that was my pony game that just went off. Yeah, no, that was mine, apparently. And we also have my great and awesome co-host, Comet. So. Hopefully we'll have blanked here in a little bit. He got caught up in a game. Uh, but um, yeah, we'll have him here in a moment, and hopefully. And uh, also we should have Sketchy Wolf joining us in a little bit for the fun and shenanigans. And, uh, yeah, this is the Bernie Show. Ah, sorry, I'm, I'm not exactly 100% here. Uh, 198, you'd think I would at least start getting something right on this. <laughs> Well, yeah, we're here to bring you all the fun and excitement and entertainment that is the Brony community for the last two weeks because, unfortunately, looks like after um, the Salt Lake Comic Con, I had a bit of a stomach virus. That was Con like... crud. Con crud, indeed. That kind of sucked. Yeah, it's... Yeah, that's a... I mean, yeah, that's not just for... That's pretty much any convention you know, thing you gotta you got to be aware of is that... You, know, you definitely want to take care of yourself as much during the can during the weekend because that is a very possible thing. Is that is that yeah, you never know who went to the convention sick. So yeah, yeah, and it was a big convention. It it, just, it was just giants. It, it's hard. Um, it actually I think it rivals the San Diego Comic Con in sheer numbers at this point. But in any case, um, well, we're here to bring you all the fun of the Brony community. And also, this is going to be a blind uh, let's watch and react to the Equestria Girls uh, friendship games for myself, Comet, and hopefully Blinked when he shows up. I do not know if uh, Sketchy Wolf has had a chance to watch the movie yet. And I know Suki has, but the rest of us, completely blind. Speaking of which, hey, it's Blinked! <laughs> I'm uh, tired, okay? No, I, I feel your pain, man. I feel your pain. But let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit energized. And what better way to do it than to lay bare our lives for our wonderful audience. What's up, bronies? So, what's up, bronies? Uh, well, um... <laughs> Oddly enough, that's pretty funny. Okay, uh, okay, I'll jump in here a little bit. I have been uh, preparing and planning for episode 200. Of course, uh, we do got quite a few people signed up for little segments and stuff for the for episode 200, and we have had some success getting the streaming software working. So that's exciting. So yeah, in a few weeks we'll be do we'll be um, setting that off. Uh, of course, uh, another exciting thing is I got not one but two brand new games coming to me this week. I got a The Sky of Five and also Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest. I keep mixing the two up. Curse, curse your childhood! Uh, Dragon Quest Heroes coming this week as well. So I got that little bit of awesomeness coming along. Um... Also, in, in my new job position, they're basically throwing me under... Not throwing me under the bus, but trial by fire is probably a good way to put it. So, that's also fun and exciting. You know, there's plenty... I, well, the thing I find is that with a lot of... Honestly, with a lot of jobs, they can only teach you so much in a class. No, it's more... It wasn't more of a... It wasn't a class more than it was just kind of shadowing. Just kind of... Sitting there, yep. watching, and maybe doing things here and there, but, you know, not at the same time, not exactly doing it by yourself. You know, there's always somebody watching and judging. Yeah, but I mean, still, it's pretty much, you can, you can try and teach, a, you can teach the the mechanics of what you do, of what you're going to do all you want. Actual execution is always a different thing. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Which is what I'm learning currently at work, dear Lord. It's one thing to know how to fix a person's problem. It's another to try to fix the person's problem while they're on the phone with you. Oof. Yeah. But on another... Oh, hey, so you have, oh, you have my job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. I fucking deal with direct TV nonsense. Mm. But on another fun Which note... Which, unfortunately, is people's you know, money and shit. 
Well, on another fun note, though, it's October, Halloween month. Spooky, scary skeletons. Yeah, all that spooky, scary, funny stuff. The, oh, yeah. the skeleton wars, people. Watch out for Tumblr. Yes, the spooky, scary fun, and of course, we already have the MLP episode for Halloween out. Of course, we're not going to watch it. We're going to keep pushing that sucker back until it is Halloween, because that's how we roll. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Blah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, not much uh, this week in the way of uh, what's up, Brony News, just... Um, Simple everyday lives that we always lead. Uh, anybody else have anything they want to throw out there? Uh, tomorrow, Transformers uh, Devastation comes out, so if I'm not dead from work, I might stream that for a little bit. Mm. Oh yeah, and I think um, I think Comet is actually getting uh, another game himself too this week. Is, is he? he? Oh yeah, Nathan Drake Collections. Oh yeah, the Nathan yeah. Drake Collections. Yeah, so games all around. <laughs> yeah. I, I pre-ordered it, so it'll be a release from Anthony. Also, what did they do for Oh yeah, yeah, you, you got the um, you got King's Quest, didn't you? Yeah, you got King's Quest if he paid attention. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, we we I think the scary thing is how much we're going to be spending on games this month. Also, <laughs> also, um, I've been trying to catch up on a few anime series because I have the our the last convention that I usually go to for the year. Anime Bonsai in a couple of weeks, which also has me a little excited. At the same time, I'm trying to cram in um, a bunch of um, JoJo. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I, need get, I need to give that show another shot. For some reason, I remember trying to watch like something. I remember trying to watch it before, and for some reason, it didn't catch me. But I feel like, but I feel like you I literally. You literally like have to get. Watch it because... You have to literally, Suki. You have to literally get through like the first like seven episodes. Yeah, because then it starts really... getting good. Yeah, because I see stuff that's in it and all this stuff, and I'm like, this this should be a show that I should be into. I know it, it takes a while to get going. Admittedly, that's... even I even I was kind of meh with it, but the more I caught into it, the more it really started to. It, the first few episodes are kind of dry and weird, and then it really gets kooky. But actually, uh, the chat room did remind me. I have watched a couple of um, different series, including some new ones. Uh, uh, right off the bat, I we just I just finished the season finale of Rick and Morty, and oh my god, those animals! They ended it on such a hell of a cliffhanger, and I won't see anything new until the new season is out. I'm just lucky they confirmed that they are making a season three. Because that I would hate that so much if they ended the show like that. Ugh. I also saw Wabbit, which is supposed to be the new Looney Tunes cartoon. It uh, is yeah. odd. Well, it, it's, a, it's supposed to specifically be Bugs Bunny, right? Uh, essentially, yes. Uh, Bugs Bunny is pretty much the main character. You, you do see some of the other characters. You, you know, Samity Sam is, oddly enough, a really big presence in that one, but he's more of a like an old... He's like a combination of a uh, bank robber and Montgomery Burns. Because, I mean, he, he, you know, he's just, like, uses flintlock pistols, some um, sticks up uh, different stores, even though it's, like, the 21st century, you know. It, it's it's really weird. Uh, along with that, um, I, I did see a few other um, D Looney Tunes characters. Coyote, uh, the Wily Coyote just popped up a couple of times. And there was only one little cameo appearance of uh, Foghorn Leghorn, oddly enough. And that was it. But yeah, otherwise it's just been uh, completely different characters and all about Bugs Bunny. Uh, it, which I admit, it's kind of weird, especially since Looney Tunes, you know, I'm thinking Bugs and Daffy and Elmer Fudd and just all of those crazy kooky characters and we're just getting Bugs. But they, the jokes aren't too bad. They have been pretty entertaining jokes, so I'm, I have been... I have been coming back to it and watching a few more here and there. Uh, even Comet uh, admitted... Uh, they they had a few uh, musical jokes in, with it. Oh yeah, yeah, those those are fucking great. Yeah, they, I, I thought that I, that was really cleverly done. 
Yeah, they, they actually did put some thought into the comedy and everything. So it's not like they're rehashing and just trying to live off the Looney Tunes popularity. They're actually trying to do something with it. Uh, I haven't seen the Guardians of the Galaxy yet, no. But I also, unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess in some people's opinions, I watched um, Star vs. the Forces of Evil. The best way I've been able to describe that so far... That's unfortunate. It's a god I'm talking awesome about show. chat's opinion. Some chat might think that it's a... I don't know. You know they can go get fucked. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. <laughs> they anyway, think it's a terrible show. I, I, okay, okay. But yeah, Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I watched one episode so far. Best way I can describe it, it's like Disney Channel meets Ren and Stimpy with a lot of ADD. And you, oh, here's the thing, Joe at Circuit. I'm just gonna say this: there, that show actually has a plot. Well, there's a, good there's luck finding actual, it. There, oh, there's a story. By the end of the se- by the end of the season, yeah. Yeah, there is a, there is an end of the season story. Yeah, right now I only saw the first episode, so honestly. I've learned from both My Little Pony and a bunch of other shows, do not judge on the first episode alone. You always have to do a few in before you can really give it a thought. So, yeah, I got, I'm, I'm definitely diving into a few other oddball shows. But otherwise, um, yeah, I'm just, just I'm trying to catch up on my games. Batman, I finally beat the main storyline if you watch the Let's Play of it. Unfortunately, I still got to do all the back stuff so I can get 100% and do the final hidden end of the actual story and then the DLC. So that's coming up on our Let's Play there. In any case, uh, I, th- I think that pretty much actually covers a little bit more than I was expecting. So unless anybody else has anything else to throw in for What's Up Brony, uh, well, let's go ahead and head on to news. Alright, that sounds good enough to me. So let's go ahead and get into news. And starting off with, um, oh, how could I have uh, almost forgotten the site news? Episode 200. Now, you guys, I'm sure you guys are excited for episode 200, especially since we got a lot of streamers. They're going to be coming on, doing their thing throughout the weekend. We're getting people jumping into the calendar, putting in there, putting up what they want to do. And I'm personally excited because I've been sitting on that freaking NES pony modded game since BronyCon, dying to play it, but I've been holding back, keeping my breath, just slowly waiting, but I decided I needed to add a little bit more to the show, well, add to the, to our portion of it anyway, let's see, um, but yeah, as some of you know, I went into to Salt Lake Comic Con. And the funny thing about Salt Lake Comic Con is it had My Little Pony ex- an, a My Little Pony exclusive comic. This thing right here. Of course, the exclusive comic is just a cover. I believe it is the uh, starting issue of the Siege on the Crystal Empire. But the comic itself, the cover looks pretty awesome. I'm sure some of you will agree with that. Now, what I've done is I actually picked up a few extra copies of this. So we got two extra copies that we're going to be giving away on the stream as we are doing our segment for episode 200. So you guys might have a chance of picking up a very exclusive limited edition Salt Lake Comic Con My Little Pony comic cover. And of course, we'll be pretty fair about it by pretty much making it random draw. So yeah, no quizzes, no if you know this, or if you can art, or any crap like that, no. We're going to make this, you show up at a certain point, we will put your name in a hat, and we will randomly draw. In any case, uh, let's go ahead and um, get, that's a little bit of excitement. Let's move on to the next uh, bit of excitement, Fighting Herds. Of course, uh, some of you already know what's been going on with them's fighting herds. They already started their crowdfunding campaign over at Indiegogo. And it looks like they have uh, already passed the 50% mark uh, with uh, two weeks left, two, two and a half weeks left. 
And uh, a lot has been expanded on so far. We got the six characters. Obviously, if you know anything about who, how the different characters played in the main six fighting game, as opposed to how these characters look, you could tell who is who. You know, it's not exactly a very hidden thing. But at the same time, I've been following the news on this. I've been watching what they're planning, what they're thinking. A lot of it is very exciting. And they even have uh, some stretch goals, uh, in including uh, new characters, story modes. Now, why am I'm bringing this up mainly because Main 6 did have an awesome fighting game. And too bad they can't make it pony. They can't actually make it pony related. But you can obviously still see the influence of the original Pony game involved with all of this. And I, I've just been following all of it because they've also include Apparently, they have a mythology for this entire thing. So okay. not only do they have the fighting game, they have an entire mythos behind it. Uh, basically, why are, why are they fighting? Who these characters are? What they stand for. There's a there's a lot more to it involved than just um, okay. Here's a cow. Here's a deer. Let's start seeing them beat the crap out of each other. So kind of exciting for that. Uh, yeah, alpaca. Yeah, that was an alpaca. That was an alpaca. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, I would highly recommend donating to them and put your get your name on the spot for Fighting Herds. Along with that, it looks like Fighting Herds also succeeded in getting into the Steam Greenlight. So, yeah, a little bit of excitement there. Nice. Yeah. All right, now for merchandise. Because what is a brony show without talking about random merchandise? First off, My Little Pony right. Funko Comic Con exclusive for New York Comic Con, sadly not Salt Lake Comic Con. Behold the rainbowest of rainbow dashes. But yeah, apparently uh, I... I don't know when New York Comic Con is, or it might have already happened. Oh, no, it's happening at the end of this week. Yeah. But yeah, New York Comic Con, if anybody is going, or you can try to convince somebody that is going, they have one, a limited edition of character of this. Only 600 are ever going to be made. And it's literally a uh, Rainbow Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Rainbow Dash. Hmm. Rainbow Dash. Dash. There it is. First edition. Still in the box, bitch. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Just had to, just had to keep egging him on and he'll do it. <laughs> yeah, some people... It uh, looks like the chat room has kind of mixed opinions on it. Some people think it's awesome. Uh, some people think it looks terrible. Some people don't even think it looks like Dash. Admittedly, it is kind of odd looking, but I think it looks pretty awesome too. Pers I would get it if I could. The only problem is it'll probably be a hundred dollars on eBay, if not more, by the time I get a chance to actually try to get a hold of it, which kind of sucks. But yeah, there's a little bit of con exclusive merchandise out there. Now for other merchandise that you can probably find all around. Oh, here here is something. Yes, I almost forgot about this. Now, what is the one doll that you don't think uh, they would ever do when it came to MLP? Uh, Megan? <laughs> well, actually, that is one, yeah. But <laughs> in this case, they actually created a brony doll. Oh, God. Yes. My Little Pony brony doll. Why does or, she look like Bayonetta? I don't know. I was going to say. But she's not, yeah, it's not just a, a brony girl, or in some cases, pick a sister, depending on who you are. But they also have the brony guy. That's just fucking weird. Yeah. So, bro, so brony, so... Here, so here's how here's how this this works out. Pegasisters are Bayonetta, and and Bro and Bronies are Justin Bieber. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Well, here's the information that I was able to. Um, well, I, let me let me um, just paraphrase this. This is the information I ripped off of Equestria Daily because I love them and they really do give good articles. Now, this is a special edition toy call from Integrity Toys. Uh, that that that. that, that. Wow, uh, something something did not get translated right there. But it basically, it's from a uh, company called Integrity Toys that decided to come up with a, an actual fashion figure doll spot uh, that is based off the fans of My Little Pony. So essentially, yes, it is a brony doll. Unfortunately, it kind of looks like the equivalent of a brony doll if you use the Xbox Marketplace and their idea of a... My Little Pony fan figure. So, yes, these are actually sketches. These aren't at what the dolls are going to look like. Uh, right now, it's still in the planning stages, but this is happening. They are actually creating a brony doll. I don't know if there is any way we could ever top this, but I'm sure as hell going <clears> to <throat> still try. And we got Sketchy Wolf. Good afternoon, Neckbeards. Hmm. Hey, I shaved. And I'm fuzzy. <laughs> Unfortunately, my neck beard no longer exists, but it wasn't a neck beard. It was just a straight, straight up beard. And then the razor attacked. And then the bad times. Yes. The razor attacked and died after it cut just a streak, streak out of my hair. It, that was annoying. Anyway, um, how's it going, Sketchy Wolf? I got another car. <laughs> oh, I'm, <laughs> oh, boy. I'm sure we're going to want to hear all about that, but uh, while you're getting us the um, photos so you can talk about it, yep. we're going to jump in a little bit into uh, Hot Topic merchandise now. Now, as we mentioned before, Hot Topic was going to be getting the special Funko Minion figures, and they have. They are now available, unfortunately... They are about eight bucks each, so they're a little bit on the pricey side. Along with that, uh, Hot Topic has continued on with the Christmas trend. Oh, what really? Uh, give me a quick second here. I, I was on a roll, and then I literally just got I, uh, just got everything kicked my feet yeah. kicked out from under me here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, who knows? Maybe they sold out of them, but I highly doubt it. Okay, again, I apologize. I'm trying to find... There it is. And do they still have it? Oh, my heck! They, they don't. Oh, your heck. Uh, wow. Um, hey, I... Wow, I managed to get those just in the nick of time. Okay, uh, so Hot Topic ended up introducing uh, My Little Pony, well, balls. <laughs> or, <laughs> All right, everybody, go get your balls. Uh, yes, yeah, Christmas balls, actually. Little hanging Christmas balls that actually light up. So they are pretty cool little balls. The unfortunate thing is it looks like these ornaments were... They came out about two weeks ago. I'm not kidding. They showed them. They released them on the website two weeks ago, and now they're gone. So, so you're saying you can't find my, you can't find your balls anymore? No. Well, you can't find your balls at Hot Topic, but usually the pants are so tight, I doubt anybody could ever find their balls. Now, I lucked out though. I actually ordered these when I had the hot cash, so I still have them, and they're in my room right now in a plastic bag over to my corner here. But, wow, I did not expect that coming. I figured they would still be around for a while. They still have the Christmas stockings, but the ornaments are gone. Go figure. I don't know. No. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Christmas we'll comes that. earlier and earlier each year. Uh, it's, yeah, but apparently. still, talking about, this, talking about this is the only reason to be glad to have blue and purple balls. <laughs> yes. You should go to a physician. My My balls are flashing. Wait. Where am I flashing my balls? I don't know. Anyway, and uh, the Hot Topic website does still have Yahtzee. So if you wanted to Yahtzee. pick up, if you wanted to pick up Yahtzee, they Yahtzee. still have them. Okay, Blank got it right. I love you, Blank. But yeah, uh, 
If you wanted to still pick up Yahtzee, it is still there at their website. I don't know. We were playing a really fun game. Next thing I know, I look down and I'm like, Yahtzee! 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 So who's ready for the random of random merchandise? Okay. Let's start off with a Pinkie Pie birthday cake candle. That looks mildly terrifying. Okay, for a second there, I thought her eyes weren't facing the same direction. Yeah, you're not the only one. Yeah, it, it takes a second to catch it. Um, mentally, it's a little odd. Let's see. It looks like uh, along with that, they have a Twilight Sparkle gumball dispenser that has shown up at Sweet Factory. So, yeah. hey. <laughs> Good morning, every pony. Eat my balls. Check out my chewy gummy balls. Okay. And along with that, whoever wa who wants to completely deck out their entire kitchen kitchenette kitchen area? Yeah. Huh. Well, yeah, those uh those little plastic yeah you know, those plastic mason jar looking things. Yeah, they were selling those at Aldi. Yeah. Now uh, this way, this one uh, they found them at a place called Redner's that I've never even heard of before. I think I saw them at Wally World or maybe Target though, or maybe both. <laughs> But yeah, apparently they got uh, silverware. They got uh, those little lunch plates that kind of remind you of grade school lunches. All right. Now, here's a big question. Can anybody guess what in the world this is? Chat, this is also for you guys. What in the world is this? Uh, let's see. Looking at it. Oh, wait. Look at it. I think that's a pinata. Oh, wow, you got it in one. Yep, it's a pinata. I was going to say, it kind of looks like a pinata. I thought it was a surfboard for a second there, or one of those wakeboards. It well, could be a boogie well, board. Okay. Well, if yeah. you kept the picture small, it would have been harder, but once you enlarged it, I could see the feathering. You could see the little... Yeah, the little feathering immediately gives it away, so I guess it wasn't as hard to, dis to figure it out, but yeah, it looks like Party City has um, those interesting pinatas. Of course, it looks like um, those aren't the best pinatas, apparently. Pina they also have that kind of a pinata at Party City. <laughs> I almost want to go to Party City just to get that. That looks awesome. Um, as far as pinatas ever go. Ooh, oh, CMC had it right. That's a gravestone. <laughs> it's not a pinata, it's a gravestone. <laughs> Are you looking at the gravestone, or did you want to see the pinky pinata? They're both eerily disturbing. I know, isn't it? But I still kind of want the pinky pinata, just because that does look pretty awesome in some weird way. No, let's get the gravestone. Mm, gravestone would be funner, yeah. And also... Alright, Josh, I'm going to get you the rainbow dash. Oh, come on. You know I'd want the Twilight Sparkle. You're getting rainbowed. Oh, uh, you're horrible. <laughs> All right. Then I guess we'll have to go to Hot Topic because that's where these are. That's it! God damn it. No, you're stuck on that. Uh, apparently I do. And here's another fun little random bit of merchandise. Um, a Pinkie Pie Party Tin. Oh, cute. Yeah. that is. It's interesting. I, I, I'm not sure what to think of that. And, of course, because we haven't had enough yet, My Little Pony Coffee Mug. What? Yeah, over at TJ Maxx. Uh, uh, eh. I mean, it's not, not bad. Standard vectors, whatever. Yeah, pretty standard vectors. It looks like it's a little bit on the sparkly, shiny side. But pretty awesome either way. But yeah. By the way, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Circuit, uh, you went past the socks really fast because you were afraid I was going to find another way to do... Do the Rainbow Dash joke, wouldn't you? Nah, I was just trying to get through them, but I hear there are the socks. Go for it. Oh, you know the Rainbow Dash joke I go for, right? Uh, I have a feeling I know, but feel free to. Well, if well, well given the class, given the classic place to do it, to keep to keep things from getting messy, Ronies have found yet another way to put their dick inside Rainbow Dash. Hmm. Of course, the sad part is these might be um, little girls' toe socks that are probably about four yeah, inches. Yeah, even worse. They could be four inches big. So that... <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You only got to cover the tip. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. 
<laughs> now, talking about other things at Target, Power Pony trading cards have popped up out of nowhere. So if you're interested in the Power Ponies, you can get the this entire set, which consists of three of the Season 3 Booster Packs, a special the uh, special packs of all of the uh, Power Pony Main 6, and a poster of them. Which, which, in all honesty, if they ever made an actual side series of this, I would watch it. I think it would be pretty fun. Um, I don't, uh, I don't know if you, uh, to me, I don't know if I don't know if I'd want to do a full spinoff series of it. I could definitely, I definitely see doing like a special episode where, yeah, it's like, like do do an episode which is completely intended to be just a. A complete aside for a week, and it's literally an episode of like an episode of Power Ponies. Mm. I could definitely they could say they have their own comic, that's for sure. Yeah, I I could see that too. Yeah, that might be good. All right, and now for another why can why can the other people have nice things? Ooh. The United Kingdom has re gotten another little figure. Well, not just the United Kingdom, Europe has gotten another little figure in their magazines. In this case, they have Nightmare Moon. Really? Yep. It looks pretty awesome, but admittedly, the mane is a little weird. You just got that purple blob. Almost looks like somebody threw a thing of Gak at, at a wall and just took a picture. Okay, there's our mane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, dear me. I've spilled the grape jelly. Oh, crap. It looks like we lost Sketchy. You couldn't take the grape jelly. Actually, I'm not sure if we... Did he have connection issues or... Hmm. Well, okay, let's uh, go ahead. Let's uh, continue moving on here then. Hopefully, uh, we'll get him back. And, uh, let's see. Oh, wait, that was it. Ah! Now, here's a fun one. Uh, apparently, My Little Pony and Monopoly have popped in together on the PS4. I'm back. Can ah! I... Uh... Yes. Oh, I, have, I have to use a old man Safari oh, on this Mac. Oh, you it's poor man. The only poor. web browser that's working. Oh, you poor man. <laughs> yep. Hey, Jared. Yeah. Did you guys talk about my car yet? No, we I haven't am. talked about your car yet. I was waiting for you to throw some photos so you could. I sent you some on my phone, but I don't think they came through. Hold on. Let me Did you send it email wise? No, I sent it Skype through, no, uh, through, through. my phone. No. Well, while while we're while we're waiting for those, um, yes, PS4 and Monopoly have joined forces, and oh gods, it's horrible. Uh, How do you open a new tab in Safari? Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> so, in order to get all of this all together, you would need to buy Monopoly Plus and then buy a Pony DLC pack, which would be about eighteen dollars. Now, here is the restrictions on the DLC so far for My Little Pony Monopoly. You cannot play it online. You have to play it in local play. Only wow. Rainbow Dash is the animated game piece. Despite the fact that six people can play, only one person can pick Rainbow Dash. Everybody else must pick original game pieces, which, again, only original Monopoly game pieces. Rainbow Dash is the only pony. And there are obviously no sound bites, no official music, no, well, apparently typos that were in it have been fixed, but essentially they just slapped Pony onto a Monopoly and then sold it for three bucks. So they're jipping people. Got it. Pretty much. I do, you know, yeah. I do like their little tagline there. Pony TLC, it literally pits, prints money. Yeah, unfortunately it kind of does. Because I'm sure some people bought it anyway. Me, I am not going to touch that unless they actually make it worthwhile. I'd rather buy the Monopoly game board-wise. I'd pay fifty bucks just to be able to have, just to be able to play Twilight Sparkle. And this is a steering wheel. Let's see. And if I'm remembering my emblems correctly, ah, oh crap. It's. I want to say it's old. I don't know. I kind of want to say Chrysler, but I think I might be way off. Wait. What? We're no, it's not at... a Chrysler. It's a Lincoln. Oh, uh, damn it! It's a Lincoln. Oh, That's... wasn't that what the, the Luna was originally? The Luna is a '78 Lincoln, and this is a '78 Lincoln. Ah. Um, there will there's a secret to how I have obtained this car, 
And it's going to be revealed by one of my uh, fellow deviant art artists in England why I have this car and why La Luna's going away. Oh, wow. So, all will be revealed at the end of the month. But as of right now, I have a fleet parked in front of my house and I'm taking <laughs> up the in- all the parking spaces. <laughs> all the parking spaces. Jeez, you got three cars and we do- we only have one working in our freaking house. Where in the world... Somebody want to point out the problem here? See, this is what happened. Okay, so one of my friends spends most of his paychecks on video games. One of my other friends spends most of his paychecks on collecting guns. I am a little more eccentric. I collect automobiles. <laughs> he gets those cars. Hey, babe. Uh, hey, honey, do you want to go out to, to dinner tonight? Sorry, babe. Bought another car. <laughs> Well, we can drive around. Be awesome. Uh, everything works. Cruise control works. Air conditioner works. Heater works. Radio works. AM and FM. The A-Track player works, but for some reason, when I put the A-Track tape in, it sounds like the Alvin and the Chipmunks are singing every single song you put in. <laughs> so I had the best country track and I plug it in there and it's Johnny Cash is like I hear the train to come and it's coming around to me and that's magical that is awesome <laughs> but this thing is a one owner old man car bought in uh was it Pearson Ford which is still in San Diego today it's been a San Diego car its entire life it's been garaged kept its entire life when you drive down the road, it's like driving in a new car. There's no road noise. There's no chattering from the suspension when you hit a bump. There's no grunting and groaning. The body panels don't shake like in my other cars. <laughs> 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 and the best part about it is it passes smog, and I don't have to worry about it for three years. Nice. And by that time, I probably will not be living in California anymore, so it doesn't matter. Oh, you're, finally, you're getting ready to move out? Or... Yep, I'm going to be selling Nightmare Moon, the 73 Cadillac, and hopefully going to sell that for seven to eight grand. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll want to... Lined up, and then I'm going to get the fuck out of Dodge. Get out of the state before it sinks into the ocean. Really? I thought it was going to burn up in the sun first. By the way, you want us to send you some water, man? We got a, we got pl- a few bottles here. It's got more water than uh, California now. I know. How sad is that? I think the moon has more water than it's frozen. In any case, well, I definitely can't wait. I can't wait to hear the rest of the details, but we're going to have to wait till the end of the month when you have your special uh, comic released for that. So how about instead we mock the fact that we got more ornaments already out in October? But yes, if you wanted Rainbow Dash... Rainbow Dash! Or a Luna ornament, it looks like uh, they have popped up over at Kohl's for $13 a pop. So, um, yeah, uh, have a little extra money, you've got a Kohl's nearby, you can get a Rainbow Dash, Luna, or both of these ornaments, hopefully before they sell out. Because, in all honesty, the ornaments do tend to sell out pretty quickly. Or at least semi-quickly. I wouldn't expect them to be there by the end of Thanksgiving, For that's much for sure. All right, and uh, for the uh, now for some random insanity, some new brushables have started to pop up, and I don't know what to make of this. Come on, it's Pinkie Pie. There it is. Uh, I, I I was trying to I was thinking more like uh. I'm about to come with the party party. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't I can't think of it. it uh, only other one I got is um. Oh Lord, I got that hair done, and now I'm gonna go cake myself some cupcakes. Oh no. Mm, child, listen to me right now. I went down to that barbershop and got my hair did, and now I'm ready to hit the town with all my ladies. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I wish I could do the impersonation, but honestly, the other thing that came to mind was Coolio. Yeah. Unfortunately, Pinkie Pie's not the only one that was given this horrible fate. <laughs> oh, dear God, AJ, your hair your hair looks like, uh, what the fuck am I thinking of? Um, is that one candy? Smarties. <laughs> uh, yes. 
So, yep, this is the, uh, this is a box of the figure. Uh, oh crap, she doesn't have a mane. It literally is nothing but those freaking beads. What the hell are they thinking? Okay, this is Pinkie Pie Cutie Twisty Do. This is part of a line called Explore Equestria, which looks like it'll be the next set. Heaven help us all. I really don't know what to think of that. And the only way that we can uh, top this all out is um, this. If, uh, you can, if we can get a good look at this. Uh, Twilight Sparkle with giant um, glowing butterfly wings. Isn't it amazing? Now that I have gigantic butterfly glowing wings. Bitch, I am the most fabulous ever. <laughs> uh this wait, is why wait, apparently there's a oh no they're, they're doing a thing where you can use your phone and scan the leg and oh, what the hell is going on there yeah it, it's a it's a, another app of some sort that i've never had a chance to really look at but it's a uh my little pony hasbro app you scan though you scan the images on the legs and it gives you characters in this game or little mini games or other weird things i i really have no clear idea because i've never oh really what done it yet and i didn't want to give a full report until i've had a chance to which obviously i haven't it's called i hat. really hate safari mm, i really feel your pain there but in how about instead we got fluttershy and gummy yay yeah this popped up in Taobao. we don't really know what this is going to be wait uh, wait 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 wait, wait. That, i just realized the problem here why the fuck is Gummy with Fluttershy? Oh, I see. Apparently, the uh, the Gummy figure was put with Fluttershy to give you an idea of size, but this is uh, the Gummy is apparently going to be popping up in one of the Friendship is Magic collections, uh, the the ones where they had the entire Apple family and now they're expanding it to the Pinkie Pie family. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the Gummy is going to be part of that apparently. Ah. And uh, for those of you who did not have enough time uh, to do something silly, now you got Rainbow Dash with Design a Pony Wing. Hmm. Let me see. How far, Danny? Okay. Wait. Yeah, sorry. I was just uh, looking. That's all right. Let's look at the show notes because... I yeah, think... we're, we're digging through them as quickly as we can here. Uh, no, I think I know. Okay, after that part, maybe I'll go do the do the. Because yeah, I kind of want to get some food, so I've got some soup. I'll get and go get. Cool. All right. All right, and finally, in the uh, I can't believe that this doesn't come out in the United States merchandise. Some of you might remember the Kinder eggs with the little toys in them, and it looks like they have a different kind of Kinder egg over in the Europeans, which are pretty awesome. These are called uh, maxi eggs, apparently, or they say maxi, but they aren't, aren't really eggs. They are. They apparently have pony figures in cases or something like that. I don't know what this is, to be honest. Hmm. But yeah, apparently they just have the figures in little cases that you can put them on, as well as store things in the cases. So they look pretty cool. Yeah, not, not bad. yeah, they're not bad. Unfortunately, um, they're pretty much uh, relegated to the European Union, so doubt we'll ever see them over here without spending a ton of money. But it's still pretty cool. All right, now um, we'll go through a little bit of in, in, news and information. A, uh, a speaking of Europe, a European show called World of Weird. Uh, recently did a segment on bronies. World of Weird. Okay, this is off to a good start. Yeah, not exactly the greatest of start here. But yeah, essentially they went to a, uh, a brony convention over in Europe, talked with uh, several of the congoers, things like that. Oh, actually they went to BronyCon, apparently, and talked to the congoers. Let's be uh thinking... I was going to say, because you were saying Europe, they, that meant they either went to, like, Buck or Galicon. Yeah, I, th I think it's still a European show. They just managed to go all the way to the United States for BronyCon. Yeah. But, yeah, it's a, a seven-minute video if you guys want to check it out. Uh, other, I haven't really watched it myself, but 
it looks interesting enough, and I'm sure some people are interested in get, seeing other people's opinions. Next, Gameloft has updated their game. Now, not only can you get Tree Hugger, but it looks like you can also get Claude the Puppeteer and his puppets with Sugar Bell, Donut, Double Diamond, Party Favor, Night Glider, Trouble Shoes, and Pest Control Pony. Hmm. Along with uh, new decorations, shops, and apparently uh, levels have been balanced a little bit more so newbie players can catch up to the ones that are at level 70 a little bit faster. Of course, um, the this it's only been updated on the iTunes version. No word on the Android release or the Amazon release on when those will be updated with this. Okay, so yeah, more than likely, I'm going to assume the actually free version is going to be the last one to get this. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that at all. Yeah, but you know what? It's it's just a couple extra ponies. Honestly, I'm still the fuck. I don't know. What the heck? Uh, sketchy. What happened? Uh, your microphone just went weird. It just went weird? Yeah. It's really uh, sensitive now. It's, got, it's gotten really sensitive. What are you talking about? Like you're, you're loud. You kind of sound like you're speaking through a uh, loudspeaker. How does this sound? Much there better. Go. There we go. I had to turn the gain down. Ah. So. All right. And uh, quick, uh, co a quick news in the comic area. If you're going to New York Comic Con... It looks like they got an exclusive cover of the Friends Forever with Spike and Sakura, with the main six being different forms of viruses. So yeah, if you, again, going to near Comic-Con or you're collecting comics, you may want to check this one out. Moving along. Now, another little fun thing for those of you who like to dig into the history of My Little Pony, Equestria Daily has apparently gotten some information on the uh, on original concept art of uh, the entire show. Originally, how the ponies were going to look, the different facial structures, all of the all of the original concept art had well a lot of original concept art has been provided to them and posted, including uh, apparently all of the different outfits that uh, Rarity threw uh, Twilight through at the opening. A lot of fun stuff there. Wee! So yeah, if you want to check out the concept art, there's not one but two different pages of this stuff, and there's a lot of it. So you can get an idea of what they might have been looking at for designs, what ponies originally looked like, as well as maybe just some slight alterations on a few things here and there. So yeah, something interesting to look at. How awesome is that? Now, who's ready for scary shirts? No, seriously, this stuff, this is freaky as hell stuff here. So T Public has released a couple of new shirts come by with a combination of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's and My Little Pony. Going to start off with uh, Luna as the puppet. So that's that's pretty creepy. But that is actually far from the creepiest that this gets. And how did I do that? Okay. No. So, yeah. We got that. Now, behold, Nightmare Star. That's the fight fragment I've been looking for. Now, that, that is creepy as hell. I like that. Oh, my God. I like that. <laughs> I think I found the name of my car now. Of my new car. Nightmare Star. Because everyone's... Because it's gold... Everyone's saying they call it name Celestia. it Celestia on DeviantArt, uh, and I don't want to call it Celestia. <laughs> yeah, I can go with Nightmare Star. It's also King Sombra as a nightmare animatic. And I like that. It's like, for some reason, it reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's. Animatronic, my bad. Animatic? Oh, sweet, the t-shirt animates. <laughs> I wish. And also Nightmare Moon, because we have to get the rest of them in there. But, but yeah, these, these shirts are freaky as hell. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta get it out. Alright, and uh, along with that, if those shirts are a little bit too much for you or you want to have a little bit of different ones, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm pulling up a few here. There's a, a Nightmare Sunset Shimmer that also showed up in Tee Public recently. Oh, that looks cool. 
along with a Nightmare Twilight Sparkle. Sounds like a spoiler. It might be. I don't know. They're nightmaring a lot of things lately. Nightmare mm -hmm. all the things. Nightmare all the things. Yay. And uh, just to throw a few... <laughs> there's actually quite a few more that they came out with, but just to throw a few more there, you have um, Derpy as Twilight Sparkle. Admittedly, I'm pretty sure that this is a spoiler for a, a later episode, but at the same moment, this is just too awesome not to show. We also got a Smooth Rarity. Yeah. And also, uh, an interesting one, just um, basically uh, Equestria Girls Rarity, but not quite. It's more like um, anthro Anthropomorphic Rarity. But it's still pretty interesting. I'll take care. There we go, we got a seller. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, but yep, there's all that fun stuff. Now, uh, let's see... Now, a little bit of quick update, quick information and updating. Uh, if you're into Source Filmmaker, it looks like uh, they have added socks to My Little Pony, finally. So you can sock all the ponies now. I'm not touching that one. Yeah, I, I think we'll just say you can sock them and leave it as that. That's not helping your situation. Uh. Okay. All right. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Yeah, sorry. Sketchy, we only got the two inside shots. You holding the keys and the steering wheel. We never got an outside picture. I'm trying to send you one now. See, my father told me that. I was like, wait, what? Oh, that's what I thought it was a Chrysler. <laughs> I thought it was a. I thought it was a little weird that you didn't that you didn't give us any outside shots. Uh, I thought there might have been a reason. I think Skype's being a derp tart because I can't log into any of my stuff on Safari, so I'm doing uh, it on my phone. Oh, there you go. You got it. There we go. Yeah, now we got it up. So pretty much, take the bull horns off, put a really nice paint job on it, and you got La Luna. <laughs> yeah, you kind of do. Well, in this case, we got Nightmare Star. It, it's a working it's a work in progress title. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Now here's a we got a little bit of an update. Even though we have yet to show Equestria Girls three here on stream, Equestria Girls four has officially been announced. Uh, that was fucking quick. Yeah. Apparently, VP of Hasbro has pretty much confirmed that there will be a a fourth Equestria Girls movie. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. They 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 apparently already start already. Uh, if they're not, I guess they're either in, they're still in pre-production or if they're already past that point, they're going to, they're going to be in production. Like basically they were planning on going to four before three was even out. Yeah. It was going to happen one way or another. So yeah, I was hoping. I will, oh, sorry. I was going to say this cause you know, I know you haven't shown it yet. You haven't seen it yet, but I will say I am kind of looking forward to the fact that there is a four because Four really needs to do some stuff better than three does. Mm. Well, we'll definitely have to get into that in just a little bit here. We don't want to spoil too much for all of us. All right, and I'm going on to um, the My Little Pony card game. High Magic has started to pop up and give some information about what this is going to be about. Looks like the pre-releases are going to be starting up in November 13th, so in about a month and a half, High Magic will become the next uh, My Little Pony card set. Along with this, uh, it has the return of the great and powerful Trixie as both a main character and a villain. It will introduce a token mechanic into the game, along with new keywords, five new dual color combinations, as you can see with the exact duplicate Rainbow Dash there. And also, Ultra Rare Power Ponies will be part of the card set. Okay. Oh, I thought I got another picture there. But in any case, um, yep. So High Magic is the next card set. And for those of you who want to collect dog tags instead, 
looks like another uh, a new set of dog tags is starting to be created by Interplay. And these ones are a little bit different. It looks like some of them are actual pony heads as opposed to just the uh, dog tag with the pony on it. And uh, let's see, is there any other information uh, with that? Da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there's shape. There's going to be uh, 21 standard shape um, dog tags along with uh, nine shaped tags uh, following the main six. And it looks like Derpy is actually going to be one of the uh, shaped dog tags as well. And uh, 27 collectible foil cards or stickers, if you will. You know, just all the fun stuff that the previous dog tags had. So, yeah, more dog tags to be had. Yay. And finally, in merchandise, in the uh, news uh, in general, Funko has uh, started to show off their new figures. The next two to come out are Cheese Sandwich and Mod Pie. So yeah, if you guys enjoy collecting the Funko figures, uh, these two are the next ones to come out. Nice. Yeah, I like them. I'd probably, I'd definitely be interested in mod. Uh, cheese sandwich looks a little odd, but considering I pretty much have every single one of them but Luna and Spike at this point, I'd probably still end up getting them anyway. Plus, it's a weird Al Yankovic pony. How can I say no to that? However, the next set uh, is probably been semi-announced. Uh, looks like uh, some prototypes of Nightmare Moon and Queen Chrissy have popped up. Cool. So yeah, these two are going to be coming out as Funko figures. I just really, really hope they fix uh, Nightmare Moon's horn because does that look crooked to anybody else? Uh, it's crooked. She needs some Cialis. No, she she needs a little bit of the blue pill. Yeah, Cialis. Is that Cialis? I, I was... There's Cialis and Viagra. Yeah, I was think, thinking more Viagra, but I, yeah, I guess Cialis would be it too, wouldn't it? But yeah! And, uh, Chrysalis needs some sort of other pill. Maybe surgery. And uh, Chrissy just needs a little love. But, um. Alright, and uh, let's go. Now, in fan submissions and suggestions, Source Filmmaker also gets Nyx. As a uh, character, uh, for those of you who don't know, Nyx is the uh, uh, fan fit, fanfic creation of uh, Nightmare Moon Essence. For jeez, uh, I can't remember the name of the st of the story. Uh, Past sins. Past sins. Thank you. Why couldn't I think of that? So yeah, Nick uh, Nyx from Past Sins has shown up in Source Filmmaker and it has been redone. So that looks pretty awesome there. Legends of Equestria has officially gone alpha, so it's no longer in the. I'm not even not even the normal um, status. It's an alpha status. Of course, that means it's still a lot of work to be done, but it is officially rolling well on its way. So that's exciting there. And the challenge of the week was sleep deprived ponies. And uh, we got Tolkoy's uh, in entry into this. Which we all look very, very sleepy. <laughs> uh, by the way, a robot. Uh, okay. Comment, are you there? What? Comment. He's probably buried in goddamn. He's probably buried in goddamn Destiny. You have to go out there and whack him in the head. Uh, he might be, but not. I'm trying to let him know we're going to be getting to the movie here in a second. Hey, comment. Yo. We're gonna hit the movie here soon. Oh god, we're watching the movie! We're watching the movie and doing a blind commentary. We have yet to see it. Oh. What, have you seen it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but no, me, me, Blanked, and Comet have not seen it at all, so this is going to be completely blind for us. God, this is going to be painful for me. <sighs> oh, because I'm... <sighs> <laughs> no, I, I get it. I get it. I'm guessing you've seen it before, and some of the problems are of uh, the glaring problems you already know about. What is this? And uh, it's this not is... because Twilight Sparkle is the main character. It has nothing to do with my bias right at all. Twilight Sparkle in this is the like the least of my problems of this of this new movie. I'm sure you'll be more than happy to point them out as we go. 
but, but yeah. I ruin anything. No, I'm I'm pretty sure I got other art entries, but unfortunately, as I keep telling people that are submitting to this, we need this email to us. And so this is right now. Tokoy is the only one I have. If anybody else had any other art entries for this, please let me know as soon as possible. I thought the movie was coming up soon. Yeah, it is. Like how soon? Um, like in the next three to five minutes. Thirty to five minutes. Three. Oh, I said thirty to five minutes. Wait a minute. Let's do that backwards. Mm. Five to thirty minutes. No, yes. we, no. We just had to do the fan submissions, and then we'll pretty much be jumping right into the movie. All right, sweet. I don't want talk. I don't want much talking because I'm with Cody on this one because I haven't seen it. All right. So yeah, we'll try to. We'll I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm starting to fade here, so I might just hop off the call entirely. Unfortunately. Uh Okay, yeah, we might lose blanked here. Unfortunately, um, this uh, is... Still, Justin, having a job, and honestly, I'm way too worried about them to stay up late and watch the movie. My apologies. No, don't feel too bad, man. Believe me, I I know I'm going to feel this in the morning. (laughs) Oh, so uh, you you can't... I don't know. I mean, it's only an hour, so... Yeah, but for me, it takes me more than an hour to fucking actually try to get to sleep. Ah. Yeah, but uh, if you could stay as long as you can, um, uh, as long... As long as possible is always welcome, of course. I might just leave the call, but I might just try to watch through the thing. That way I can just kind of... <laughs> yeah. Does an hour even count as a movie? Technically, it does. Yep. But, in any case, um, next week's challenge is putting on a play. So, if anybody had any more challenges for this week, though, the sleep-deprived pony, please let me know. Otherwise, next week is putting on a play.